Uh, time trials didn't really matter tonight with only eight drivers in attendance. Uh, it's something to note that uh, they're all going to start the feature. But it was a random draw that determined where they will start. So now it's time to give you the starting lineup of the 15th annual Dion Parish Memorial here at Kalamazoo Speedway. Starting in eighth position, your most recent winner on the Supers Tour from Liverpool, New York, driving the Southern Hill Storm number three. It's Brad Keezer. Keezer in the three starts in eighth. Inside of row number four, in seventh starting position from Goshen, Indiana, driving the RW Woodworking B&G Racing Photos number 25, your 2004 Dion Parrish Memorial winner, it's Bob Gangwer. Gangwer in the 25 starts seventh. Moving now to the inside of row number, or the outside of row number three, driver hails from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Drives a CPR Motorsports Excite battery number 55. Watch for him out there in that orange and yellow Mayfield garage-sponsored car, similar to his teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2011 Dion Parrish Memorial Champion, Steady Steve Callahan. Right next door to him, his teammate from Carrollton, Ohio, driving the icings on top, CPR Motorsports Mayfield Missile number 41, it's Keith. Put one on you, Powell. Powell, your 2010 Dion Parish Memorial Champion. Up to the outside of row number two now from Mexico, New York. Driving the Walkers, Cleaners, and Tuxedos, number 38. He drives for the Disturbed Motorsports team. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Turkey Shoot winner, Kyle, the Cobra Clark. Clark in the 38 starts fourth. Now to the inside of row number two, and this guy had a heck of a run here last year in the Dion Parish Memorial. He hails from Stoneham, Massachusetts, and he drives the Star Speedway number seven. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on Nelson Hot Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the seven starts third. Now to the front row. Starting on, on the outside of the front row, hailing from Pulaski, New York. Driving the first to finish race servers number 35. Two-time defending race champion here in the Dion Parish Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, Rocket Rob Warren. Warren in the black and blue number 35 starts second. And on the pole, setting fast time here tonight, 10.300 seconds. In the Disturbed Motorsports number 61, driver from Mexico, New York, a firefighter by trade. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Backus, Backus on the pole. Now the field rolling now here at Kalamazoo Speedway. Here they come. It's going to be Backus and Warren bringing them down for the green. Green flags out. We're racing for the 15th annual Dion Parish Memorial. Right away, Backus tries to go out front. The inside row definitely rolling as Rodriguez slides high. Top two are side by side. Warren slides way high in turn one. Here comes Keith Powell now. Now remember, last week, Warren passed Powell for the lead in the points championship. And Powell's going after Warren.
Now right, here comes Powell to the inside of Warren. Warren chops back across the nose. Rodriguez setting four, just waiting for something to happen between second and third right now. Backus content to run out front. And doing a good job of it, I might add. Last year, this race went about 22 laps before the first caution flag. If you're just tuning in, this is the Dion Parish Memorial R-Factor Super Modified Race from Kalamazoo Speedway. Rodriguez struggling out of turn four. Gangwer dips to the inside, goes to fourth position. Back is still out front. With Warren about two car lengths back, Powell right on the rear nerf bar of Warren, though, in third position. Callahan working on Rodriguez. And Powell again looking down to the inside, not letting Rob Warren get away. And this is how, oh, there goes Powell to the inside, turn two. Warren doesn't give him any extra room, that's for sure, and Powell drops back some now. But he sure did give it a try there in turn two on lap number 16. Rodriguez and Callahan with a good battle back in fourth or fifth position. Powell has a good race car early in this Dion Parish Memorial, and he's really working Warren over. Meanwhile, Rodriguez trying to stay in fifth position. Callahan and Keezer trying to get by. Twenty laps in to the 62 lapper here at Kalamazoo Speedway. You're enjoying live super modified sim racing action, courtesy of Supers Live. Now Gangwer has moved into the mix for the battle for the top four. Warren slides high in two. Powell looks to the inside. Backus has not been able to pull away, and these drivers might just be trying to conserve their cars a little bit. This track is very abrasive on the tires. a while, but Steve Callahan, your 2011 Dion Parish Memorial winner, moves into fifth position. Like Warren has a push in the middle of the corner down in three and four and that allows Powell to really get a good run down the front stretch and set him up coming out of turn number two and now Backus has started to move out a little bit a couple of car lengths and Callahan tries to reel in the top four. Oh, Powell gets into the back end of Warren as Warren gets loose now Powell looks to the inside of turn two good battle for second place right now There, Powell gets into the back of Warren again as Warren hits the brakes in turn one. Gamer goes to the outside of Powell through three and four. And 
And now, Callahan has moved into striking distance to the top four. We've got a race on our hands, folks, as we've hit the halfway point of the Dion Parish Memorial. Powell gets loose out of two. Gamble goes to the outside. No room out there. And here comes Callahan. Callahan gets by Gangler. CPR Motorsports running third and fourth, and back is now a half a straight away ahead of Warren. Warren really holding this pack up. Rodriguez, Keezer, and Clark at the back of the pack. Boy, I'll tell you, unusual for Kyle Clark to be struggling this much. But he really is having a hard time here at Kalamazoo. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Throw a blanket over him here in the Dion Parish Memorial at Kalamazoo Speedway. Great super modified sim racing action coming at you at the world's fastest 3 8 mile. Keezer looking at the inside of Rodriguez. Can he get it done? He's still working on him. Side by side. Rodriguez and Keezer. Keezer gets the position. Gangler to the outside of Callahan. Takes fourth position back. And here goes Powell underneath one down the back stretch. You're coming up on lap traffic. It's going to get dicey. Look out, folks. Keep your eyes on the battle for second. second place he's gotten by Warren does he have enough time to reel in the 61 of Bacchus game still working a high groove around the outside of Callahan to go and Keith Powell is catching Derek Backus. Powell's right to the rear nerf. Powell's right to the rear nerf bar. The gang would get to the back of the 55. Steve Callahan lets him go. That could be the end of Callahan and Gang. We're trying to catch second place Rob Warren, although they're taking back off now. Now Keezer's right to the rear nerf bar of Gangwer. Great battle for the lead right now. And start to reel Warren back in. Four laps to go. Callahan has caught Warren. Powell working on Bacchus for the lead.
White flags out. And it's going to be Derek Backus for the win. Keith Powell second. The battle's still on for second. Here they come out of turn four. Warren takes third. Powell in for fourth. Gang were fifth. What a run. Green to checkers. 62 laps. We sure hope you enjoyed that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call super modified sim racing. What a race here tonight at Kalamazoo Speedway for the super modified ultimate pavement racing series. As Derek Backus parks it on the front stretch.